Hello gang, today I'm going to show you how I do my craft beer. There's three ways you can do craft beer. You can do an extract kit, a partial grain kit, or an all grain. I'm going to do the middle one today, which is the partial kit. I've got a best case DIY craft beer kit. It comes with all the ingredients you need to make about four and a half to five dozen beer. It comes with grains, hops, malt extract, dextrose for bottling. I'm going to keg the beer, so I don't need to use the dextrose. I'll take you through all the steps and show you results at the end. So what this kit includes, detailed instructions. Three bags of light malt extract, a bag of grains, three bags of hops, a hop sack, some bottling sugar, I won't need it because I'm going to keg it with CO2 gas, and some Nottingham yeast. So I recommend a 14 litre pot, at least. This is a 19 litre. I'm put it on the stove. Add 7 litres of water, and I'm going to bring it up to 155 degrees. Three bags of malt extract, I put in a pot with warm water, just to soften up the syrup, the malt extract, makes it easier to get out of the bags. So I've got my grains in the hop sack, in the sack. When this comes up to temperature, just steep it for half an hour. I take my grain bag and we'll put it in the pot. And that will steep like a bag of tea for 30 minutes. This will be by boiling hops. So it's been about 15 minutes. Temperature still about 158. And I'll just give it a, a stir. Get the greens in the middle all loosen up. I'm starting to bring this back to a boil. I've opened up the three bags of malt extract. Looks a lot like molasses. So I'll stir that in and bring this to a boil. So I got a boil. I'm going to do my boil hops. Right here I'll add 5 liters of cold water. Add the beer wort, unfermented beer. Top up to 23 liters with water. Stir vigorously for a minute. I'll take a gravity sample. I'll take a temperature reading and Get my specific gravity. It'll tell me how much alcohol, potential alcohol I have. And I'll take another one when I'm done. Wait here, I'll just sprinkle the dry yeast on top of the unfermented beer. So this is my fermenting bucket. It's a stainless steel brewing bucket. Clamp on lid. Has a hole for a blow off tube. Or an airlock. I'll explain that in a minute. On the bottom it's a cone shape, so all the yeast and everything will drop out the bottom. And I have a valve here that I'll hook up to a silicone hose to put in the keg. 
for the first few days I'll put in a half inch silicone blow off tube. There's so much activity going on with the yeast that it's pretty vigorous bubbling. So this will come up through the hose and into a bucket. That's just same as an airlock. And you can hear it bubbling away there now. It'll start to bubble within about 12 hours of brew, uh, adding your yeast to your new brew. After about three days, I'll remove the hose. I have this earlock. So that'll go in place of the hose and it will bubble up and slowly release any built up pressure. This will ferment for about a week. Then I'll move it to my back porch where it's a little bit cooler. All the yeast and hops will settle out. I'll probably leave it an extra two weeks. I usually leave it for about a month before I keg it. You can see. Go ring in. Cover. Turn this upside down. So the keg is cleaned, rinsed, and sanitized. Let's see what you can see in. Beautiful. The first step is take off the bubbler and on top. I'll connect the hose down on the bottom and go right into the cave. I'm wearing gloves because I cut my finger. Yeah, I'll get a sample of that in a few minutes. Take a temperature reading as well. Clean, sanitized keg. Clean and sanitized silicone hose, half inch. So I've got the silicone hose in the bottom of the keg, attached to the line out in the fermenter, and I have the bubbler taken off. Your luck. This is my keg reader. Built it a few years ago. Double taps. In the back here, I have a five pound CO2 tank. So what I'll do next, I will carb my beer. Purge it another couple times. Back, I'll turn up my regulator to 35 psi. It's at about five or six now for serving. Turn on the gas. I've got the pressure up to 35 psi. You'll hear the CO2 going. This is cooled down. It's been in the fridge for several hours, so it's nice and cool. Give it a good shake. So I've turned off the regulator. I'll let that sit overnight. 35 psi. Tomorrow evening I'll purge the CO2, set it back to serving pressure. Alright, so we're gonna pour up our West Coast IPA.
we poured up our best coast IPA turned out really nice it's a really good tasting beer it's nice and clear carbonated well the serving pressure on the keg was a little bit high so I'm going to turn that back got a lot of foam hit on it it's good after a couple of seconds one problem with this kit I'm pretty sure it's not a best coast IPA it came out darker than most IPAs pretty sure it's probably an Irish red I tried it and that's my feeling and it's definitely not a really happy beer it's more malty my son tried it and he figures it's probably an Irish red still a great beer so it's just not the beer that I thought it was hope everybody enjoyed this little venture in brewing you might want to try it yourself or you can always just go to the store and pick it up that's a lot easier but this is fun cheers thanks for watching